Hello, my chickens. Let's solve this one together. This one is somewhat simple. I want you to pause the video, give it an honest shot. And once you unpause, we're going to solve this one together. And by together, I mean, I'm going to solve it for you and you listen. All right. So I'm going to assume that you guys gave it an honest shot. And what do we have here? We have two points. I want you to be very careful with the scale because here one little tick stands for two, not one. So right here, we're going to end up at 12. This is four. But what about coordinates? What I like to do is I like to create my coordinate points. So this one is going to be my X coordinate is zero. My Y coordinate is four, this, this specific coordinate. And here, my X coordinate is 12 and my Y coordinate is zero. So now I have these two points and now I can calculate the slope using the formula we just mentioned above this little guy, the difference of y over the difference of an x. Let's do this. So it's going to be negative 4 over 12. And that is also known as negative 1 third. So this is my m. This is my slope. All I need to do now is scan my answer choices and find my honey boo. <laughs> find my um, coordinate find my um, equation of a linear function. What I can also do is I can start with looking at the y-intercept because clearly here we have the y-intercept 0 comma 4 and I can look at the answer choices and then eliminate a and d but I didn't really decide to go that route because I knew if I eliminate um, 8 then I'm going to be left with two answer choices and I have to calculate the slope anyways. So doing like a fast uh, um, visual scan, I call it the vertical scan of the answer choices. Sometimes it's super helpful. So hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did, if you found it helpful. And I'll see you in the next video where we're going to discuss a harder plot problem that employs all sorts of line issues.